Hello everyone, and welcome back to Killer7. We're continuing on through Cloud Man. We're continuing on through Olmeda City. We are trying to find the man with the plan, Andre Olmeda. And you oh yes, it is okay to hustle. We are gonna hustle our way over to him. So we're gonna unlock this door. Let's continue on. <laughs> what we find on the other side is a whole bunch of giant smiles. It's not... It's not great. There we go. Fucked. The easiest place to get him... Oh, there's two of them at once. That's right. I'm gonna just, like, run forward. And they're gonna fall over. Oh, this guy got to, got up here. Yeah. Giant smile's not very fun, but the best place to actually get them, whoops, is when they stop in front of you to fall over and you actually have an opportunity <laughs> to get that eye and they just keep respawning in this area and it, it's not, it's like I said, it's not great. It's a good thing I'm wearing the stamina ring, because I'm doing very badly against them. Hold on, I'm gonna try changing smiths. I seem to have some better... better success against the giant smiles using Khan. There's a Harmon's room right there. Uh, I don't really need to deposit blood yet. I heard one. Alright. They don't come from behind, I don't think. No. No, they don't. Pretty sure. Hey, here come a couple. There's one. Ah, did not get the other. They, like, fall down to the right a bit, so you gotta move your aim. So it's not straight ahead, but to the right a little. Yep, I hear another one. <laughs> there it is. And there it is. Okay, that's how you're supposed to do it. Let's read the bulletin board. Let's see. You know, something I like about this bulletin board is that it gives you subtitles, but you can clearly read what's on that. It says, if wanting, Omega Collection number seven... It comes to the drugstore. It is the photograph of Olmeda that is necessary. All right, so if we want the seventh piece of the bat Batol Cap collection, we need to get to the drugstore and we need a photo of Olmeda. Easy enough. <laughs> Let's just run through here. L we'll look at this poster while we're here. Okay, that's the completed collection. It says that we need to complete collections to meet the president. All right, so that's why we need the collection. If we want to meet the president, we need the collection. How can you meet Andre Almeida if you have not collected his entire Batol Cap collection? It doesn't make sense. We need to sign up at the post office. So we're going to go over there. First, let's hang a left into this diner where there are not any giant smiles. No giant smiles in here. Let's take talk to this guy right here. What does he have to say? The 
So, something I've never really been clear on, but was he saying that The Lord of the Rings is Olmeda's autobiography? I can't think of what other adventure movie about a ring he's talking about. And the time period of this game was 2005. So, you heard it here. The Lord of the Rings, actually about Andre Olmeda, it's his autobiography. And who are you to question Olmeda? But what the guy did say is that number 12 of the Olmeda collection is very rare. One of a kind. And in fact, that guy killed someone to get his hands on it. But he didn't. We have it. We have, we have number, uh, which is the astronaut. We have the one of a kind. But if you need the entire collection to meet Olmeda, and no one was able to find this astronaut, does that mean no one can meet Olmeda? Because no one can have the completed collection? It seems like that's how it works, I guess? But what about the rest of the collection? How do you get them? Well, you go to the toy dispenser, and you take the coins that you've been collecting by killing the Olmeda Smiles, and you put it in the dispenser. There we go. I got number one. And I have 48 coins left, plenty to get all the rest. So most of the collection is in this toy dispenser. However, you might remember that one sign said that if you wanted number seven, you would have to come to the drugstore. So we're going to have to go somewhere else to get number seven of the collection. But as for the rest... We can get him right here. So hopefully you've been killing a whole lot of uh, Olmeda Smiles. I mean, you would have wanted to anyway for blood. And it's not like it's hard to kill him, because the weak spot is huge, but... If you didn't, then, I mean, you'd have to just, ha you just have to go do it now. Or maybe you would just be kind of confused at this point right here, trying to figure out what are you supposed to do with this. Because it doesn't actually tell you what to do with it doesn't actually tell you what's going on. Alright, let me see how many I have at this point. Alright, I got all of them except number seven. Here's number one, the standard Olmeda with the Texas Bronco t-shirt. Number two, the Judo Olmeda. Of course, he is a black belt. Number three, Olmeda plays for the Olmedas. He is number three on the team. Uh, he also plays football for the Olmedas, for which he is number 40. I, get, I guess all of the sports teams in Olmeda City are the Olmedas. Number five, Valley Tudo. He is going to get in the ring and mess up some fools, I guess. Number six, Extreme. What's that skateboard say? Oh, that's Grasshopper. That's a Grasshopper brand skateboard. Andre Almeida's Pro Skater. Number eight is Wrestling. Andre Almeida, also a master amateur wrestler. Number nine, cheerleader, why not? Almeida can play football and also cheer on his team at the same time. He's very versatile. Mascot, I assume it's him inside the costume. We can't actually say, but I assume it is. Otherwise, why is it in the collection? What about manager, number 11? This is managerial Almeida in his suit. Travis said before that the president of the company needed to wear a suit. Well, here you go. However, we do not have number seven, which is seven. We need to find it. We need to go to the drugstore. We're so close to completing our collection. I, we can taste it, can't you? Can't you taste it? Can't you taste Olmeda? Anyway, 206 Terry Street. This was the address where the... um. I guess this would have been number 12 of the collection, and maybe this is the guy who, who owned it and was murdered for it? I guess. We never see him again.
I'm going to take a quick detour outside to this shortcut because there's someone out here who might want to talk to us. And so Julia fades away. Like uh, many of the people the Killer 7 kill, it seems like we actually did her a favor, freeing her from her life. So she can do whatever she wants in death. And this was a door that was locked. We were here before, but now we found the other side of it. Um, I guess we might as well go to a Harmon's room, because there's one close by, I believe. Drop off this blood. Yeah, it's right up here in front of us. You can see the green light. Drop it off and level up. Samantha's still doing that. She'll do that all day. Machine is still going. Sorry. Let's see. Where were we? Sorry, pal. But this is the moment I've been waiting for. Okay, double tap. Uh, Dan has that. I think Kayede also has it at this point. <laughs> and that's all I can do right now. All right, let's head back to where we where we were going. Because what we were doing is we were going to have to try to get to the drugstore to get number seven. <laughs> and once we have the complete collection... Fuck you! Well, they did say that we can go to the post office to apply to see the president. <laughs> and that's what we're here to do. I mean, considering that Almeida wants Garcia to find him, you think he would make it a little bit easier. Dangerous. I mean, we're kind of doing him a favor. He told us to come after him. But I guess he has his reasons. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. All right, oh, dr drug store right here. Fuck you. We want that number seven. Tell us all about it, cult member. So this is kind of an odd one. <laughs> we need the photo of God. Meaning, of course, the photo of Almeida. The thing is, we have one. 
we've had it ever since we started this level. It's just that usually we haven't actually had to do anything with these photos. But this time, I do have to look at it now. You're an outsider? You've done well to make it this far. Are you another one of them reporters? Oh, you still here? What you need? Looking for Almeida, hmm? I couldn't care less about that disco freak. I won't have anything to do with him. Oh, don't get me wrong. I'm glad the town has flourished, but do you have any idea how many creeps with that weird smile have moved in? Something's up with him. Although I don't quite know what. This is an old town, and we respect tradition. I can't get along with a bunch of newcomers who just waltzed on in. No way. Alright, now that we spoke with her, the pharmacy lock has been released. So we find out a little bit more about the backstory of the town. It's small. Everyone knows each other. But after Almeida took over, many many new people started coming in. Oh, these guys. They're normal enemies now. Fuck you! The backside smiles. So people started coming in. New people. Disrupting the traditions of the town. And not everyone in the town appreciates that. Fuck you! <laughs> All right, the final Omega collection, the president number seven. Here he is. It's just like the normal Omega, but his T-shirt says seven. But you know, we now have the entire collection. Look at that. No one has the entire collection, because no one has... No one has the astronaut. This is one of a kind. We have all the Almeida amiibos. <laughs> Fuck you! Fuck you! They're, st they're still not really difficult or anything. You. Anyway, up here is the post office, and we now have the total collection. I'm way ahead of you, we have all of the collections. Now that we have them, let us enter through the gates of the post office. Yeah, I know him. Almeida, right? He's a good man. I'm not way into him or anything. He did his job, but didn't excel. He's one of those guys nobody notices. I kind of think he was just lucky. But it is strange. What? Uh, no, 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 just talking to myself. I mean, how could a lowly postal worker take over such a big corporation? It could have been me. He's hardly worth a shirt on his back. What an asshole. He sold the damn town. He sold our souls. That's how he got that position. The damn fake. More information on Almeida. He used to be just a postal worker. And then somehow he became the owner, the president of First Life and basically owns the town. So how did he do that? What does Travis have to say? Travis still does not think a whole lot of Olmeda's business. <laughs> I 
But you notice that we've left the town after the post office is this mountain path leading up to the First Life building. So let's get a move on. Dangerous. Fuck <laughs> you. <laughs> was not able to quite get him. Dangerous. <laughs> I'm just going to turn around and run. Because that's what Khan can do. Oh, Harmon's room. Uh, probably don't need to go in there quite yet. <laughs> so we're now you. entering the security perimeter of First Life. So we've seen the town, we've seen what people think of Olmeda. Let's get a look at the company itself. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> you! Fuck you! All right, we have to answer all of Olmeda's questions with perfection. But what questions might he ask us? Some billboards as we run up to the company. One is guarantee of happiness. Olmeda's guaranteeing this family happiness. He's got his arms wrapped around him saying, look how happy they are. This grandma, this mother, and the son. World peace? Right. But world peace under Olmeda, as we see the First Life Tower rising above the rest of that city and the world. All four continents on that globe. Financial reform. I guess financial reform means Olmeda posing in front of a bunch of dollar bills. What more reform could you get than that? Human resource development. Like, this is kind of an ominous one. I don't, you know, I don't think you maybe, maybe you don't actually use this billboard. This probably might frighten people. I don't know. Uh, Ermeda, the perfect city. We know that Andre Olmeda, he wants to create a, a perfect society. That's what he's trying to do in Olmeda City. I mean, it's full of heaven smiles and people disappear all the time, so it's not really perfect, but I guess this is how he sees it. The perfect city is one where everyone is wearing spacesuits. Powerful society. A powerful society is one where you have just a whole bunch of Olmedas wearing flight suits. It's the most powerful of societies. A more relaxed way of life is Olmeda in a suit with his arms crossed, standing in an apartment. I guess maybe it's your apartment. And he's saying, why aren't you so relaxed? You should be more relaxed like me, Andre Olmeda. Hey, Travis. Well, Travis seems to have kind of a good idea of what First Slave does, but 
We're not really that interested in First Life as we are in the President itself. But we have to get through this gate. And how do we do that? Well, we have to answer Olmeda's questions. How many people appear with Andre Olmeda in the Guarantee of Happiness billboard? Do you remember who appeared with him? He had his arms around that family, remember? Were there three people, four people, or none? It was three people. The grandma, the mother, and the son. How many continents were illustrated in the World Peace billboard? With the, the First Life Tower rising above the world. How many continents do you remember? It was four. I know you remember that one. What color was Andre Almeida's afro in the financial reform billboard? The one where he was posing in front of money. Well, I know you probably would remember if it was yellow or green. That would have been obvious. So it must be purple. I know you got that one. And I'm proud of you. What did it say on Andre Almeida's t-shirt? Did it say Texas Branco? Texas Bronco or Texas Branca. So I guess this is kind of a gimme. We all know it said Texas Bronco. Not going to try to pretend it said something else. Which which of the billboard did it spell Olmeda's name as Ermeda? What was Ermeda? Well, Ermeda was the perfect city. The perfect city where everyone wore spacesuits. This question is number what? Were you counting? Do you know which question this is? I like how the middle button is glowing, like you should press that one. I also like how there are letters written, handwritten on the question. So is and N are written in, then B is written in, and then over on the right where A is covered, they write a number two. I don't know, I kind of like that. I think that's funny. But what's not funny is if you've forgotten which question this is. And you better not have. Otherwise, you know what happens if we get one wrong? We have to do this whole thing again. And it would be your fault if you don't... Oh, what's, what's that? It's answer number... It's number... It's six? This is the sixth question? You better be right. You were right. Again, I knew you knew it the whole time. And I'm proud of you. But what was the chairman wearing in the billboard, a more relaxed way of life? Well, you remember, he was, he appeared in your apartment with his arms crossed, wearing a suit. And we did it. We passed the president's psychological loyalty analysis. Truly, we are loyal to Olmeda. Only those who are loyal to him could possibly memorize those billboards, is the thing. Alright, we're in the main gate. Let's head on in. Sorry, only First Life employees are allowed from this point. This is an emergency message from Mr. Olmeda. Let Mr. Smith through. I'll repeat, let Mr. Smith through. Are you Mr. Smith? My sincere apologies, Mr. Smith. Please forgive me. But I'll tell you something, though. Even we don't know what goes on inside this building. Anyway, please, come in. Well, that's nice of him to tell me that no one actually has any idea what happens in this building. You'd think the security guards would know. They do not. Anyway, that's the building in front of us. And that's also a backside smile in front of us. So let's get through these guys. These friends. Fuck you! And let's get to this building. Head inside. Let's see what Mr. Almeida... Why did he call us here? Fuck you! Oh. Someone tried to get the drop on me. Fuck you! Fuck you! <laughs> Fuck 
you. Now we've got enough blood. Let's head into this Harmon's room. wasn't much at all, but at least we got a few vials of serum. Right. I think we were putting it in con. Yeah, here we go. Alright. And... Sorry, pal, but this is the moment I've been waiting. Yeah, I'll use con to finish out this level. Because we're right there, actually. Let's head inside the building, and let's talk to the president. Anyone here? Someone over there. <laughs> what about over here? No, it seems like that's clear. Alright, let's head on inside. So the building was just a facade. And all, all that lies behind it is a trailer house, much like Garcian's. So let's head on, on inside the actual headquarters for First Life and talk to the Prez. Ah, you made it! Well, how was your trip here? This city I've created is is a paradise. Life here is perfectly autonomous, a model of peace. But our corporation, First Life Inc., <laughs> it doesn't exist, no sir. It just runs commercials. You see, people judge books by the covers. Oh, today's job is done. Ah yes, you just might be able to meet today's lucky guy. Don't be alarmed. These are good citizens. No heaven smile. Our man, Clemens. Congratulations. Me? Is it really me? Wow, I, I can't believe it. <laughs> Relax, Clemens. Your job has just begun. Calm down, or you'll frighten Lady Luck away. You're, you're right. Um, What should I do? <laughs> like I told you, first, you need to relax. Your job will be here any moment. Clements, this is yours. Go ahead, take a spin. Huh? This car? Is it really mine? Of course it is. Now take it and do what you want with it. It's really, really mine. Hop in and find out. This job had a five million dollar price tag. This is what he gets to do. This is what I call driving yourself to death. How long will Clements last? Or will he cross the finish line? If he makes it, he wins. So, uh, I infected myself with all kinds of deadly viruses. I overcame them time after time, discovering vaccines and creating medicine all the way. I overcame all the symptoms. <sighs> but them smileys, whew, they're different. The risks involved are at another realm. I mean, it's flirting with fucking death itself. I... I... I want you 
to kill me. If I catch Heaven's smile, you gotta kill me. I heard you're the only one who can kill them. I'm General Lynch from the United States Emergency Countermeasure Defense Department. I want to thank you for cooperating in the capture of Mr. Ulmeda. As you may know, this city is run by the military. This city remains a vital instrument for determining our country's safety standards. So I ask you, forget what you witnessed here today. General, beginning countdown, sir. Aim! On your mark. Five, four, three, two, one. Mark! I told you to kill me. Now, now I'm going mad. I can't control this urge to kill. What are you going to do about it? Over with one sample. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look, maybe it's not always necessary to understand everything that happens. All we know right now is that Almeida has changed into some sort of super heaven smile, and it's the Killer Seven's job to kill heaven smiles, so it's pretty clear what we need to do right now, and that's head into this ring of ambulances. They're all kind of set up next to each other with the doors opened up, so we're kind of like a ring. We're gonna run around this ring and see what we can find. Alright, let's turn around. Now, the thing about Almeida, we can try to shoot him, but he doesn't take any damage, and he's covered with bacon, as you saw. If you were to guess what his weak point is, what do you think it would be? What do you suppose it would be? Oh, he's coming this way. And he he would do, he could do a lot of damage if he hits me. If I touch him, it's all over at once, of course. Yep, okay. You see his bacon sort of shot out and did some damage. You thinking about what his weak point is? I mean, you can guess. It's the afro, of course.
What happened to Mr. Olmeda? Huh? Uh, uh, this... This blood... It tastes like Mr. Olmeda's. So... He's dead, isn't he? I've always had a sixth sense. Uh, if I had only attained Mr. Olmeda's level earlier... Clements, you're in control of things now. Walk down the path of life. Don't succumb to weakness. Take the big risks. Rest assured, Master Olmeda. I will watch over this town. Our way of life stands eternal. May peace rest with our great Olmeda, our Messiah. The name's Andre Almeida. And so comes to a close, Chapter 3, Cloud Man, the story of Andre Olmeda. You might be wondering what happened at the end there, and honestly, Cloud Man is probably the most difficult chapter to understand. Um, you know, if you pay attention to the reports that have been in these videos, um, you'll get a bit more information about what exactly was happening with Olmeda. And at the end of this LP, I will be trying to go more in-depth as to the story and some of the details on the events and these characters. Um, for right now, I think it's just... Uh, you can, you saw what happened. Almeida was attacked by the military who injected him with something which turned him into a super heaven smile. He then killed everyone in the area, but Killer7, being the heaven smile killers, killed Almeida. And then Olmeda transformed into a rain shower of blood. Clemens was able to recognize that it was Olmeda's blood because mm, mm, it tastes it tastes like Mr. Olmeda's blood. So he was able to tell. Clemens now rules Olmeda City and the society that Olmeda created. We never did find out about how Olmeda created the town anyway. How did he how did he come into power? if he was just a lowly postal worker. And again, we'll try to look into that when we go over the details of the story at the end. There's a, there's a lot here that's kind of hard to understand. Um, a lot of supplementary materials are really needed to understand Cloud Man. Despite that, this usually ends up being everyone's favorite chapter, not because of the details of the story, not because of the minutiae, but because Andre Almeida is just a, an interesting, compelling character, and unfortunately, he's dead. Kind of, would, kind of would have liked it if he stuck around longer in the game. But that's it for him. We're going to save our game. And next time, we're going to move on to Chapter 4, in which we're going to face a villain who is much less congenial we're going to be facing a villain who might just be one of the most despicable villains i've seen in a video game as we enter chapter four target three encounter i'll see you next time for that miss jacob is something else the event that was predicted to follow the Holocaust called Sunset was a phenomenal story about Almeda, who is also called Cloudman. Almeda is the CEO of First Life Company. None of their flyers, advertisements, or letterheads print an address for the central headquarters. 
the head office is supposedly situated in a building somewhere in Los Angeles, but it's the head office, in name only. I investigated the location of the company, using one of my connections in the government. I still don't know much about it. Is the company related to the Mafia, or does it simply have heavy protection? Either way, I'm prepared to deal with whatever comes. I left my office to meet a guy I know, one of my old influence, from my time as a special agent, he gave me lots of ambiguous details, and still nothing concrete, but it was surreal, like I was seeing the predicted chain of events unfold, right in my living presence. Despite its ambiguity, all of the information given by my old infant matched the predictions made by Miss Jacob. The incidents named Sunset and Dalmeda's first life company seem unrelated, but Almeda has an indirect connection to Japan. He got something big from them, and it seems that each of the incidents flows into the next. Despite immediate appearances, all of this strange information played into my method of finding their last smile. I needed to verify the reliability of my method using Miss Jacob's predictions. I wanted to see Almeda with my own eyes. I followed the path that had opened before me. I was off to Intercity, Texas. That's south by southeast.